Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0, and today is day 43. So we're working through KW Command for listings, and now that you've implemented all of last week's videos, you clearly took the listing. Now it's time to do a little bit of marketing. So today I wanted to show you how to create just listed postcards. The process for creating postcards for anything else would be exactly the same. Your template would just change. And so in order to create those postcards, we're going to first start in designs and we'll go over to the plus sign to create a new template for a print asset. And we're going to click on next to get into our template space in WeBrand. We're going to go into listings. Here is just listed. I'm going to choose standard postcards and then I'll select one of these templates that I would like to use. We'll go ahead and select this first one. Pretty simple and elegant. As soon as we choose the template, you'll see it gets brought into WeBrand. And now we've got two pages within one template. So this is similar to how when we had the listing presentation, we had multiple templates that we were bringing in as pages. This is one template, but it does have two pages. So we'll need to edit front and back. So we'll start off on the front. All we need to do is change this photo in the background. So we can come to KWLS, find our listing real quick. Let me pull up that listing and there we go. We'll select my listing. I'll change out the photo quickly and easily. There we go. Now it's just a matter of, remember I've got the listing details here just in case I forget some of that information. And I would just come into the typewriter and change out the address, the number of bedrooms and bathrooms, and then ultimately the current list price. So that's pretty easy in this editor, just going in, changing out. This is actually two bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. And it is, what was it? 2107. See, I can't even remember 2107. So good thing I have the details. I don't have to actually go to the MLS to remember that. And I can save those changes. I'm going to move it over just a little bit to the left and move it over just a little bit to the right till I get that recentered. And then I can see a little issue with that S typically that has to do with text alignment. So I'm going to come up and just center that text. Then you can see it gets a little more centered. And then if I move the text box, do you see the blue line showing up in the middle of the screen? That shows me that I'm 100% centered within this actual template. Let's go in finally and change the price. That's quick and easy. And you can see how easy it is to make edits to these templates. So the first side is done. Now I'll come back to pages, click on the back side. A few things I need to change in here. So this could be either my team logo or my headshot. So I could choose um, logo or uh, images. So let's do images. Let's just put my headshot in there. So I'll switch that out. Then this is easy, your name and your name real estate. So we'll put that information in. And guys, the nice thing is that this process shouldn't take very long. You might even consider making this template and having it ready to go before you go on your uh, listing presentation so that at the listing presentation, you could actually show them the process of uh, sending out these postcards. And the only thing you would really have to do would be make the change to the price, right? Depending on what the actual price is. So we're going to change out that logo with my DBA logo and we'll change my app code. If you don't have this, you can get it out of consumer. I have mine uh, memorized at this point. So LRWVX, there we go. And we can scroll down, minimize the pages just to see if there's anything at the bottom here. That's fine. That's fine. So now that I have edited both the front and the back, I'm going to want to come up and change the name of my template. So this is 4406 Center Street, just listed. So that way I can easily uh, access that later on in my templates and it's correctly named. And then we want to download it. So here's the deal when you download your postcard templates. One, it's a PDF. So that's step number one. Number two, you need to download the front separate from the back. So I'm going to change my download range to just one page, right? Page one. I'm going to change to high res print quality. And then I have to click on publish settings and use manual bleed. This is the number one step I see people not doing, and it's going to impact whether you can load your postcard into campaigns or not. So use manual bleed, start the download. 
and it'll show up in just a second as soon as page one is downloaded. Then I'm gonna just repeat that step one more time so you can see here's the front. Now I'm gonna download again. The only thing I have to change now is two to two. High res print quality remains checked. Use manual bleed checked. Start the download. And now I've got the second download. So I've got first page separate from second page. That's gonna be important tomorrow when I walk you through the process of actually sending these postcards out. So if you were to go on, you knew you had a listing presentation coming up, it'd be quick and easy to even drive by the house, maybe take a picture of the front of it if you can't find listing photos from a previous listing and use that photo along with this information. And then the only thing you're doing is showing off what we're gonna show you tomorrow and actually sending out the postcards. So stay tuned for that. As always, it's fantastic speaking with you guys. I'll look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. Thanks so much.